So what challenges do you think the Browns face when they when they look and, and take a look at the Bears uh, Sunday, First Energy Stadium, trying to get to 2-1? Well, you know, first of all, it's, you know, it's a tough, stout defense, and they intercepted Joe Burrow three times. So I think that's the first thing uh, that you kind of have to look at, especially, again, when you're going to be dealing with a lot of younger receivers and more inexperienced players. Uh, more veteran DBs are going to try to force them into mistakes. Uh, so that's one thing to be on the lookout for is picks and takeaways like that from, a, from an opportunistic defense. On the offensive side of the ball, I mean, it, it could be Justin Fields. Andy Dalton got injured in that game, and this could be the uh, the, de- the debut of Justin Fields. It, when you when you look at Fields, um, there have been instances when, when you look at, at what he's done, um, he has a little bit of challenge identifying some of the fronts and, and um, the rushes. He's taken some big hits, I guess, um, because he doesn't have the protection ironed out. If it is Justin Fields, athletic as all get out, you know, everybody knows that from the Ohio State days. Um, do they try to, to get after him because of the, the pressure and, and the issues that he's had kind of identifying where pressure's coming from? He's taking some big hits. Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Uh, you know, you're going to try to cross up and confuse a rookie as much as you possibly can. You're going to have to rely on Miles Garrett and Jadavian Clowney uh, to really disrupt him, get him off of his mark. Same thing with Tack McKinley, who had been showing a, an absolute ton of speed off the edge. Uh, you know, we didn't see as much as, as we thought we would see against the Texans in that regard. Uh, but that will be definitely a focus is to show different multiple fronts, different people, uh, roll people in and out, move Miles Garrett around and just try to confuse the rookie as much as you possibly can. Um, so, so Matt Nagy came out yesterday and said, if Andy Dalton is healthy, he's our quarterback. That's still a big if. It was a, it was a bulky knee that um, forced him out um, against the Bengals. Uh, what uh, Brown's old Brown's regime was familiar with Andy Dalton. What type of problems does Andy Dalton present um, that you know would be different from uh, Justin Fields? Well, you know, he's a savvy veteran. He's so experienced. The game has slowed down for him. So he will know that he has to get the ball out of his hand very, very quickly to avoid the on-rushing Miles Garrett, Jadavian Clowney, Tack, and those guys. And, uh, you know, he'll be ready for that. He just sees he sees the field so much better. I mean, the game is, is pretty slow for him. Uh, but the game won't be slow for him if he's got a gimpy knee. I mean, if you can't get away from, from Miles, then you're going to be putting yourself in harm's way. So this will be a big decision for them, and I would imagine that they will try to keep the Browns guessing as long as they can. When you look at it, what are what are some keys uh, for the Browns? This is a this is a team that they are the Browns are probably more talented than the Bears. Um, it's somewhere Bears I would say are somewhere between the Chiefs and the Texans, um, probably closer to the Texans than the Chiefs. But um, what are some of the keys for the Browns? Well, I think first and foremost, you have to protect the football. I mean, you just have to protect the football. And again, uh, two of the turnovers last week involved those young players, Donovan Peoples-Jones, uh, who had the ball knocked out with a, with a helmet on the ball uh, after a 15-yard catch, and then Anthony Schwartz, who kind of stopped on his route there. And as Baker Mayfield said after the game, we've got to stop hurting ourselves. And that's true. They've got to really uh, make sure that they're not – turning it over that is the number one determining factor of victory is winning the takeaway battle if they're playing against justin fields as we mentioned before you've just got to cross him up in every single possible way that you can with as much pressure as you can and blitzing send send jok you know if you know send malcolm smith or uh mac wilson or john johnson or grant delpit uh, I, I would blitz those guys. You know, you saw what Grant Delpit was able to do on a safety blitz. So I think that you would want to bring pressure from unexpected places. And then, you know, I mean, you just have such an amazing two-headed monster that's that no matter is what is going on on your football team with Jarvis out and Odell Beckham Jr., you know, maybe being on a pitch count or whatever, you know, you've got Nick and Kareem and that offensive line. And when all else fails, you can just pound the rock with those guys, especially into the second half, and I think that will also be key. Uh, 